What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video. Today, we're gonna be sharing with you guys my end of winter pickup slash streetwear brands you should know about, one of your guys' favorite series on this channel. Of course, these videos highlight brands that I fancy and that I hope you guys get familiar with because I feel like they deserve some spotlight. You might see some reoccurring brands and some new ones, of course, but all of them are gonna be fire nonetheless. So I'm really excited to showcase all of these to you guys. So you can make sure to check out all the links in the description box, all of the brands and all of the details that I talk about in this video can be found right there down in the description box below. So make sure to go check those out if you guys are interested. So briefly talking about end of winter, when a change of season comes around, I love to focus on, of course, switching up the fashion and switching up some things that I'm gonna add into my wardrobe. But not only that, I like to also focus on fragrance, which leads me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Scentbird. So huge shout out to the Scentbird family. I really appreciate them for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Scentbird, Scentbird is a subscription-based service, which lets you choose and try out a new designer fragrance every single month for just $17. It's completely flexible and you could upgrade to receive two to three fragrances and there's no fees for cancellation. You could skip a month if you'd like. There's absolutely no penalties, which is amazing, very carefree. So with each vial, you get a 30 day supply of fragrance, which is plenty enough. And this way you get to try out fragrances without having to fully commit. I, I really love that for that reason. You get to really just switch up your scent, really make it occasional based and uh, really see what's fitting for you. There's over 600 brands of fragrance to choose from, from brands like Prada, Gucci, the whole nine yards. You guys could go check out the full range in the description box below. They have a plethora of options. So there's definitely something there for you to like. So as I was saying, I like to change my fragrances based on the season. So if, as we're like coming to a close with winter, I'm gonna get out of like the more bassy notes and move into the more fresh notes. Things that I like really say and speak spring to me. Transitioning into that season, you just want things to be a bit lighter. You're gonna start shedding layers. You're gonna also start opening up just everything. You know what I mean? So I like my fragrances to complement my lifestyle, my outfits, everything. So that's where really, that's where fragrances come in hand with my personal life. So that being said, we're gonna get into all three of these new fragrances that they sent my way, get my first reaction of them. So we're gonna, we're gonna take out the first one, take that out the package. These are actually new cases, which are really sick. So I'm gonna show you that, unlock it, and then you can open it up right here. And I'm gonna show you guys what this is. This one is Dirty Grass. So we're gonna see what that one smells like real quick. Lock that back up. Actually has that like freshly cut grass smell, which is really nice. So it's very herbal, very, very fresh. As I was saying before, like kind of like, you know when the grass is freshly cut or you just actually start to smell grass again. I don't know if you guys live in like a snowy place, but it's so exhilarating having going from this, this hell of a winter going into a fresh climate. So that's what this really reminds me of. So it's very like grassy, very like fresh and herbal. So I really like this one. Next one, same ordeal, take that out the pack. This one's called Dime number one see all the details right there actually let me zoom in for you dime number one so this one is giving me a lot more like a like a fresh bergamot type of smell. Very good for like going out, I would say. It gives you a very fresh, clean and sharp smell. Something that you would like wear to like almost formally, you know? It kind of gives you that masculine formal smell. So I really like this one. But then it kind of sweetens out at the end, which I like as well. So there you go. All right, so for the last one that they sent me, I'm gonna have to spray the top of my hand now because I have no space. So this one you kind of get like a it's almost very like like slightly fruity but not too much more on like the the apple or citrus side so yeah i really like this one as well this one's kind of like light and borderline like and androgynous slash feminine so i really like this smell as well too that, that's more of the smells that i lean towards i enjoy a masculine smell sometimes but this one is a little bit more like my cup of tea very unique out of all of them it's probably the most unique one and almost forgot to give you guys the name real quick this one's by confessions of a rebel this is get a room and they, they actually had another one that i used from scentbird a while back when i did a previous integration with them and i really enjoyed that one as well so this is coming one of my favorite fragrances that i found out through scentbird so that's really cool so all that being said make sure to go check out scentbird the link will be in the description box below you guys can use my code chiron 55 which gives you 55 percent off of your first month with scentbird which makes it only eight bucks which is like a no-brainer i would definitely go and take advantage of that try out a fragrance see if you like it and then dive into this whole fragrance 
fragrance well because it's not only fashion that we care about we care about the whole lifestyle smelling good is important too so definitely go check out set bird i really appreciate them for sponsoring today's video we're gonna get into the rest of the pickups right about now Alrighty, so we're gonna get into the first piece which i'm really excited about let me see if i could get a little hanger so i could showcase this properly this i've been dying to show you guys you guys have no clue how much willpower it takes me to like actually film these videos because the way I break it down is I take all the pieces that are new emerge like that come into the wardrobe so that I don't forget. I should probably start doing this a bit more often so that I actually get to enjoy the pieces before I film the video. So I should probably just like write it down in my notes instead of just like folding them up. And as soon as the pieces come in, I don't touch them. Like they're literally folded up ready for the video until I have enough for a video for you guys. But that's just some BTS of what goes into making these things. So I haven't touched this since I've gone. Imagine that. But also it's been winter, so it hasn't been really appropriate to wear this so i'm waiting for the right time to break this out all of that anticipation and build up for the comma wear batwing jacket this is in a color that has yet to be released or i think it has just released by the time i put this video out a beautiful color nonetheless gives you kind of that formal beige-esque gray can't even really capture it correctly on camera but it's a really beautiful hue something that i don't really have in my wardrobe but fits more in the hues of this side of my closet as opposed to the all black uh but the cut is just amazing amazing with this the it's so delicate to the touch really really soft and just flows beautifully on the body collar lays ever so beautifully as well i love piercing details that's something that i really enjoy on garments so that was something that really got my attention on this piece so huge shout out to giz for sending this my way i really appreciate him the zipper details of course you can't forget that with everything that giz does and those beautiful beautiful zippers this guy's work is phenomenal you guys like everything that he touches is done with such grace and elegance and really like i would say in terms of like technical designers my two favorites right now have to be spencer badu and Commonware for sure in terms of like the technicalities and like the the patterns and how everything's cut and constructed just blows it out of the water so huge shout out to giz really appreciate him for sending this one over definitely go check out Commonware if you haven't already they're definitely on the blow up it's gonna happen <laughs> I'm preparing you guys. This is going to be a long video because there's a lot of garms here. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Not really, but you know how things go here. You know, things, things pile up. But we have the Bad Sun kind of like, I want to say like a like a braided jacket. I don't even know the proper name for this, but Bad Sun just has the craziest pieces. Every single time you see it on Instagram, it just doesn't even do it justice. Cause when you get it in person, you just see how much like goes into stuff like this. So this kind of reminds you of like, you know, those Chinese finger traps that you would get at like an arcade if you had your tokens and you go and buy something. But yeah, that's what that kind of reminded me of. And then it braids all around the collar down the center as well. So there's just a lot of these moments of texture that break up this piece but it keeps it really light with how the color is it's just like a light blue and a white the back padding is really interesting too kind of has this y formation crop is beautiful just a very like keeping in the same breath as before a very technical piece this is definitely going to stand out when you wear it uh, i can't wait to do a fit pick with this one this is going to be an insane one for sure so huge shout out to bad sun they've just been showing so much love every time they have a crazy piece they make sure to get me laced so Shout out to them, really appreciate it. Both of those I got in a size large, by the way. I'm gonna try and be better with that because I always forget to mention to you guys the sizes I get. I need to get better with that, I'm very sorry. I'm six foot, 170, if that helps, but everyone's body's different. I always tend to say that just because it really doesn't matter how tall and how much I weigh because everyone's body is gonna be completely different. The measurements is what's gonna help you out the most. So that's why I say, check out the links in the description. It's gonna help you a lot more than me telling you my measurements and the sizing on me. So uh, this one right here, this took ultimate willpower. This has to be like two months I've waited to show this off and it's real. It's still in the packaging. So it's ready to get shown straight to you guys. I'm probably gonna get into the accessories a little. Should I just do that right now? Might as well do a whole segment of one brand at a time, right? So I was just gonna crack into this. I was gonna do like all jackets first, but whatever. Since I got more than just one thing from this brand, might as well show it off here. So this is Somar 
it took everything in my body to not open this up, but I just wanted to really show you guys the whole experience of what you guys would get through a Somar product. So it comes in this lovely garment bag, Somar on the top right here. Shout out to Owen, I really appreciate him always getting me right with the releases. This is probably his most anticipated release or his biggest release yet, I wanna say, just because of how crazy of a product it is. This is the Ives leather jacket, I believe is the correct name for it. Got this in a size large as well. Sorry for all the noise. <laughs> There's a lot of packaging all over the place. But yeah, this is the Ives leather jacket. Look at how it comes, man. It's like so that all the buttons don't get scratched on its arrival. I'll show you guys all those details as I'm seeing it for the first time. But I've seen this on a couple of other creators before and it's just so sick. The more you wear it, the more it's just gonna have like these, these scuffs and abrasions and like, it's just gonna wear so nicely. Dude, this is a crazy jacket. You snapped with this, bro. What? Like, I love, I love the texture of this. If you guys like felt this in person, it's just like such a soft, like almost Nubuck-esque leather. It's just so soft. It's like powdery almost. So sick. Like it's like, it feels so delicate yet so rigid at the same time. Uh, incredible, incredible piece, you guys. Like definitely don't sleep on Somar. Somar got some heat, like a lot, a lot of heat for you guys. So I would say check them out. Uh, a leather jacket, you can never go wrong. A leather jacket, every time, I get one in, I'm just as geeked as like the first one, the, the last one that I got and the last one, the last one. It just is such a substantial piece in a wardrobe and you'll always get a million compliments on a really solid leather jacket. So that's why I suggest investing in a good one. And this is a really great one to invest in. It gives you kind of formal vibes, but you can also make it pretty streetwear at the same time. So that perfect piece to get you into elevated fashion, I would say, if you're trying to break out of like that streetwear umbrella and you're trying to get more into like menswear, I've on guild, stuff like that. This is probably what you would want to get into because it's that stepping stone, you know? You're not fully committing into like luxury designer. At the same time, you're getting into some pretty elevated garments. So shout out to Somar. Really appreciate him sending that my way. That's such a bang. We're starting off with some heat, my guy. Like some real deal heat. Don't even know how, how we're gonna top this, but it's gonna keep on going. Got some more Somar, of course. So can't stop here. Can't stop, won't stop. In a amazing packaging, by the way. Look at the, the branded tissue. Come on, man. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but these are some Somar boxes, man. Come on, man. Somar down to the boxes. Don't play with him. I'm not showing you the drawers. On him. That's for a different type of, you know? That's a different type of, that's not this, that's not YouTube. That's a different website. You know what I mean? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> I'm going to the next one. This is another box by Somar. He was really, really kind and gracious. So we're gonna get into this. This I was really excited about because I don't often get too many belts. The one belt that I do have that I wear all the time is literally just from like a shoemaker, like a shoe cobbler. It's made really well, but it's just more for function rather than for fashion. And this is all the excess material from those jackets and he repurposed them into a belt. So the material is super soft and it just gives you that nice like borderline formal borderline just like elevated fashion you know like screams avant-garde but like without you having to invest avant-garde type prices you know so really really good investment great quality high grade leather somar stamped right there all genuine leather really great materials what more can you ask for you know what i mean like what more can you ask for and dare i forget this big old somar branded on the the tail of the belt this is uh the same plaque that you could find on the tote bags which is another one of my favorites i wear that toe bag like all over the place not in the winter so much because it's kind of bulky with jackets but in the spring summer that's like my everyday gym bag like i use that to the gym three four times a week so it's amazing definitely suggest any somar product it ends up being like a staple in your wardrobe so definitely check them out we're not stopping, baby. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. We got another one, another brand, Bujade. You guys are very familiar with Bujade by now. Ken has been very kind enough to send some product my way. I believe I told you guys the Ives jacket by Somar was a large, by the way, I didn't want to forget that. But this is in a size small, just because I'm seeing it right now. I want to let you guys know. I believe both of the items I got were in a small, but I'll let you know if it's different for the next piece. But this is 
the flannel shirt by Vujade. This is like the second flannel I've got in the same month. Now I had that red Balenciaga one. Now I have this green one. This one is a bit more constructed, has like lining on the inside. That quilted lining gives it a bit more of a robust feel. And this is like a perfect piece for spring. You could wear this on its own and it kind of works as a shacket of sorts, and not just like a regular flannel because it has that weight to it. So it's in between a jacket and in between a shirt slash flannel, like four size small. You kind of wear any size. It's kind of like a very inclusive size range, if that makes sense. Um, of course, refer to the measurements on the website and that'll be the most helpful, but I'm six foot, like I said before, 170. And this is definitely gonna fit, but ideally I could wear any, any single size. It just depends on how I would want it to fit. I basically asked Ken what he suggested to me for me to get in terms of sizing. And he just kind of went with what he thought was appropriate in terms of like how he wanted it to fit on the person, how like the designer's intended fit was to be. So the size small was what was intended. <laughs> so keep that in mind when shopping. These are amazing. I don't know if there's any left per se, but like, come on, look at the details, man. Shout out to Vujade, like crazy that they, they have like this sturdy hanger that was sent with the piece, man. This is like real good detail. This is designer level. I love how all the emerging brands are really taking that extra step and just elevating everything all the way around. Amazing brands that are coming out of all the camps across the board. That's not the best piece we got. This right here? This right here though, I'm so sorry, Ken, for not showing this off earlier. This took everything in my body to not like, just even take a peek and check it out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, how it's sent. It's sent in the crazy zipped up tote garment bag. I'm gonna put this hanger down because I already touched on this detail already. Put that over, put that over there. I almost fell off. <laughs> so we're gonna zip this out. Crazy detail right here. So we're gonna unzip that go over here, unzip this. Ooh, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, hold on, let me. I know that was weird, but the leather was smelling decadent, man. Are you kidding me? Is you shitting me or is you kidding me, man? Do you see the grain of that leather? Are you kidding me right now? That's insane. Lo, yo, all you guys, every single brand so far we're coming out swinging with this video like swinging heavy like going dummy for real this jacket is crap i'm so grateful to ken for sending these these are like very very limited i don't think there's a lot of these in circulation don't see too many heads with these so i'm really grateful for him to have sent this my way really elongated sleeves you guys can see it doesn't even go into frame cropped in the body as we all like Kind of has this like like discreet flap over the zipper, crazy. And you know what I'm gonna say? This is gonna be my announcement. I don't even think I talked on the channel about this yet, but Megs and I are going to Japan, bro, in May. Shout out to Ray. I seen Ray just went to Japan with his girl too, so that's gonna be it's gonna be a sick trip, bro. I'm excited to I'm gonna tap in with Ken. I'm gonna make some amazing content for you guys out there. Just really soak that in because I've I've always wanted to go since I was a kid. So great segue conversation to talk about but yeah this jacket is crazy the darting on the back I, I, I gotta stop i gotta put this down because if i hold it any longer we're gonna be here all day so <laughs> we're gonna put this down huge shout out to ken i really appreciate him for sending that amazing piece my way and i hope to tap in with you once I go to Japan. So that's gonna be really exciting. I'm happy to bring you guys along with that because that's gonna be some crazy content out there uh, and just an experience in itself. So shout out to Vujade and we're gonna keep on going. All right, so now the next brand is Atelier Gallery. This is a brand by Everett. So huge shout out to Everett for sending this my way. Uh, I've seen like, this was something that he sent extra. I didn't even know that he was sending this my way. So I really appreciate him for sending this. Beautiful varsity. You can't really go wrong with a classic little varsity jacket. Also never really seen sleeves like this. This kind of like crackled, almost looks like, uh, like concrete, but on leather. Really cool motif on that right there and then got the nice chenille patch the big e got the chain stitching everything you want out of a varsity is here people so it's super cool what's nice about this as well is that it's on the lighter side so you could still layer it like the the felt and everything every material is a bit lighter than your typical varsity jacket but yeah 
really cool piece all around. Huge shout out to Everett because I didn't even know he was sending this in addition to the piece I'm about to jump into, which is pants. I think I want to do pants and then tops at the end, potentially. Should we do that? I guess, maybe. Actually, you know what? We're just going to stick to one whole brand. Then we're going to get, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be jumping all around. I can't do it by category. Clearly, there's just too many garms. Okay. But anyway, huge shout out to Atelier Gallery. I really appreciate them. Once again, Fire Varsity. Now this is what I knew he was gonna send over. This is probably the coolest piece that I've seen them make out of Atelier Gallery, everything that Everett and them are producing over there. These are the elephant denim, I think that's what they're called. But if you guys were looking for a alternative to all of these baggy pants out here that are thousand plus dollars, talking about the Balenciaga ones, because I'm a victim as well. <laughs> I've, I've, I've spent them money. I know what it feels like. It's a lot of money. But if you want to save some coin and get something that's equally as beautiful in the cut, the finishings in terms of like the fades and all that, this is this is your chance. Because all the, like, I feel like the weekday denim, like you don't want to be spending your money on fast fashion at least give it to a company that is emerging and like actually doing something cool you know what i mean so shout out to atelier gallery this is like when people ask me for an alternative to wide cut denim now that's not balenciaga i'm going to refer them to these guys because these are fire they just dropped a white pair and a black pair too definitely killed it with this piece right here the whiskering on the back or excuse me honeycombs honeycombs on the back and then the whiskering is on the front Yes, I know my denim, man. Come on, man. Uh, I watched the APC video with the guy washing his denim in the in, in the ocean. I know what's going on. Okay, don't don't test me. But yeah, I wore these on Valentine's Day. Super sick fit. This with the little gallery long hoodie. It's a nice little fit. I like this. I love the way these fit. Amazing pants, waist adjusters too. So I think I got these in the 32, I believe 32. I went true to size. Yeah, 32. So go true to size with these and then they have the waist adjusters. So if they are still a bit big, you can still use those. And then if not that, then just belt it. So really great pair of pants. Definitely suggest those, especially if you're trying to save some coin and have these bag gear pants that are very in fashion right now. They just complement my proportions really well because I'm happy that bag gear pants are in because your boy has wider thighs skinny jeans don't flatter me <laughs> and straight trousers are just not wide enough sometimes so the really wide pants are where it's at for so i'm really happy with those and i hope i could get the white pair the white pair is hard i like the white pair a lot just the fading and everything is crack on this really cool all right i think we're gonna do the rest of the pants right now might as well so we're gonna get into samuel zalik these guys are not strangers on the channel at all uh side note i went for the largest size on these because going off what i just said i prefer my, my pants to be really baggy right now so i might as well just go for the largest size which i think this equates to a 36 but they have drawstring so i'm just gonna tie it up and then the bottoms that way like the bottoms are a lot wider in the leg opening which is more my cup of tea so yeah, these, bruh. You know how much work it is to make a pant like this, you guys? I don't know if you guys have ever tried to produce your own brand or whatever, but this is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Look at all the different methods of stitching. Just on the, I'll just focus on one side of the leg. That was one side. I don't even know if that was in focus because I couldn't see it because these pants are huge. But imagine doing that on every side of this pant, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, look at this. Art. Art. Incredible. Insane. Like, what the hell? I can't wait for it to, this is like spring piece for real, for real, because it's like very light color. Don't really want salt or slush to get on a pair of pants like these because they're just too pretty to mess up. So I'm waiting for the weather to ease up because it's still currently snowing on my window right there. But yeah, once it's cleared up and ready to go, I'm going to be wearing these like crazy. These are going to be like, this on vacation would be nice. I might need to go Greece or Ibiza or Turks and Caicos with a pant like this. So I might have to be stepping proper out there. I need Turks and Caicos money though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> gonna continue to the other pants. This is a pair that was sent to me uh, out of the blue actually. These are my half evil. I got these in a size 32. These are just a pair of cargos, really wide, baggy cargos. You guys know me and my wide pants right now. Just good little fade on them. Nice little pockets all over. Good leg opening as well. And yeah, like a nice washed black. Can't go wrong with something like this for sure. For sure ski. If you guys are looking for like a denim cargo pant, the guy that hit me up over at half evil was really nice. So 
in general, just really cool brand. Check it out if you guys have it already. This is one of the newer ones I've never shown on the channel yet. So interesting, very interesting. Another one that we haven't shown on the channel yet. These guys I met out when I was on my trip in Europe. They were with Sky's team and they were just really kind. The guys at Alt or Art, A-R-T-E is the brand very big in Europe, but not as known in North America. So, but slowly is like, I guess like on pages like Outland uh, Magazine and like other archive pages have posted some of their stuff before, but I don't tend to see it as much out here besides on our team, like Sky and like Yama and myself, like everyone that I work with when it comes to styling, we wear it, but I'd never see it out in the field like that. So this is my chance to introduce it to a North American art audience. <laughs> So A-R-T-E, as I said before, these are these insulated Prima, Pima Loft or Prima Loft, I don't know the correct name, pants. These keep you warm as hell, especially in the winter, it's still snowing out there currently. So this is more my survival wear, but still looks pretty cool. And yeah, this has this heart insulation pattern all over the pair of pants, which is really cool. And yeah, it's just kind of like a cute little vibe. I should have wore these on Valentine's Day, not gonna lie, but I would have been a little too hot. Really cool pair of pants, not something you see every day. I think Bags has a pair of insulated pants as well, but they're more like either diamonds or, or squares, can't remember, but the hearts are really cool. This is very unique. So I really appreciate that. Shout out to Art, gonna get into the rest of the tops now. Cause I did jackets, pants, now we're gonna do tops. So here we have a crew neck by Fuji Loft. This is my boy's brand, Sam. Shout out to Sam, really amazing dude. Overall, he just like kill shit. He's such a nice dude, so I had to show this. Some love. Fuji Loft is his brand based out of, well, both Dubai and Montreal. They have a YouTube channel as well, so I'm gonna try and link that in the description box below too. If you guys are looking for a new channel to just watch, it's a couple channel, so it's him, Sam, and his girlfriend, Angie. So if you guys haven't checked out their videos yet and you're looking for someone new to watch, which I'm always doing, I'm always on YouTube trying to find new content to watch. So definitely go check them out if you're interested. And also the brand, of course, because <laughs> that's what we're talking about here. It's just this sushi bar graphic crew neck, which is really sick. I'm excited to like wear this a bunch and then just like throw it in the dryer and see how it fades over time and like how this screen printing starts to crack. Cause that's gonna be really, really sick over time. I just love like thinking of things when they're going to be vintage and like five years so that's this type of piece in my opinion so really really appreciate it this is something that is like never going to leave the wardrobe anything that's like a brand of a friend that i talk to like very consistently yeah if it's like that you know like you know it's never leaving you know what i mean it's just more sentimental that way not to say that all the rest of the brands are not sentimental it's just like when you have that in-person connection with someone it's very it's special you know what i mean it's like your homies brand so going into the next top this is by cost this is a collab they did with Yaboya, which is a black designer, emerging black designer, which I haven't heard of yet, which is really cool because they emailed me about the collaboration and then they asked me if I want to pick out anything. And you guys know yellow is my color, right? So, but yeah, this is this knit hoodie. Gives you kind of like African vibes, which is really cool. And then the back gives you Sapporo vibes, <laughs> which is really cool as well. But uh, yeah, Yaboya, definitely go check them out. Not only the cost collab, but the actual garments itself. Just cool to see more talent talented black designers out there. So very excited to wear this one in the spring season, just because it's like, I love pieces that are in between a jacket and what the actual garment is, which is like a sweater, a hoodie, things like that. Cause it's just a heavier version so that you don't have to layer necessarily. So yeah, you can just wear this on your own and you'll probably be able to survive some pretty brutal weather as I'm probably like that. That's what I have to live through. So there you go. <laughs> and next up, this is another piece of clothing from another creator, Frugal Aesthetic, okay? I think I'm, I'm actually out here breaking news. I think I'm breaking news. I think this is a little bit of a secret. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this, but I'm gonna just talk about it a little bit. I think Frugal is up to something. I think he's making some clothes. He told me he's making some clothes. He sent this my way. Pain Station 2, Nin Pain 1993, Station 2. See, that's the, that's the most humor you're getting out of me. Frugal's a lot funnier, okay? So I get why you guys watch him. <laughs> But this is a, a tee from Frugal Aesthetics' new brand that he's has he has yet to drop. I like how large this is. It's like very, very, very wide. It's kind of like Balenciaga cut and also not Balenciaga prices. And it gives you that like PS5 
Balenciaga collab feel without the price point. And it's a lot cooler because it's from Frugal Aesthetic. God damn it. So yeah. So shout out to Frugal Aesthetic. Everything that he does is amazing. And it's cool to have gone from consuming his content, laughing at his content and meeting him in person at that whatnot event. Cause he's a really sick dude. He's very charismatic and just very down to earth. And we have a lot of overlap in the way that we see things as a YouTube creator in the fashion space and stuff. So it was really cool connecting with him and just like seeing things through his lens at that event. So huge shout out to Frugal and also whatnot for bringing that together. Cause I don't think we would have ever met otherwise. Cause he's in, he's out in New York and I don't think we had a mutual friend. Well, we have a couple of mutual friends like Sanj and other things like that, but I don't think we ever had a chance to actually connect other than through that event. So shout out to the event and to Frugal for that. On to the next brand. Last brand. Told you guys this was a long video. I told you. This is probably gonna be one of my longest haul videos ever on the channel. So let's hope I'm able to edit it down quite nicely. All right, so this is this raglan cut cropped black hoodie by Outlaws. Outlaws is actually a brand that I showcased a while back. They used to do like the cut up bandana shirts, very similar to how Capital has the bandana shirts, but they did it like multicolor. They made a custom one for Megs. They have a yellow and blue one that they made for me. I might, since I don't wear that one actually too often, it's it's at my, um, it's in my storage. I might put that in the next whatnot auction or live, whatever. The next one that I do, Hopefully that's soon. I know you guys have been waiting for that. But the next one that I do, I'm gonna include that in there because I haven't touched it and I feel like a lot of people would enjoy that. But all that to say, Outlaw makes some really cool stuff. This is their next piece that they just dropped with this, which is this cropped black hoodie. Really, really cool, nice cut. I like how like very petite it is. Um, kind of gives you that tighter torso. And then if I wanted to wear wider pants, which I would, then it would just give that perfect proportion that I enjoy out of a lot of the outfits that I've been wearing recently. So yeah, kind of gives you kind of like a, like a jazz vibe or inspector gadget type of vibe with the motif here. And then if you go in, you see all the lettering that makes up the graphic. So yeah, shout out to Outlaws. Appreciate them for sending this my way. And that is the last of the pickups. Shout out to all of the amazing brands that sent stuff my way. I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. So gracious and grateful to always be sent such amazing product that really sustains the channel, also sustains my wardrobe, also sustains my styling because there's always new pieces to put my clients in. So it's just like a really crazy circle effect that I'm just really grateful to have made this position on this platform with YouTube and everything. Every time I do these pickups videos, I'm just very grateful because I see this pile of clothes. I'm like, this would not exist without this. So. Shout out to you guys, I really appreciate you. If you guys are interested in any of the brands that I mentioned below, I mean, in this video, all the links will be in the description box below. So make sure to go check those out. Also go check out Scentbird if you are interested and haven't already. All the links for that will be linked in the description box below as well. Alongside my social media, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. So we're keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there as well as the rest of my social media accounts. Those will be found there too. Side note, I'm trying to get more into short form content, I know how much it is like being pushed out on social media right now. And I just feel like if I'm able to make long format videos like this, and I have been for so many years, I should be able to make short form ones too. So I've been being a bit more candid and loose with making short form video content on those other social media platforms. So definitely go check them out, especially TikTok. If you haven't fo followed me on TikTok yet, make sure to go do so. It's just at Swage, which I need on all my social media, man. Someone at Instagram has to give me that account so bad. I need it. <laughs> I'm gonna check you guys out on the next one. I'm gonna see you soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this pickups video. Let me know what your favorite piece was down below in the comment section. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.